Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing measuring temperature. In measuring temperature, you will be needing these formulas. For degree Kelvin, indicates our K, K is equal to 273.15 plus the given degree Celsius. And for the degree Celsius, degree Celsius, letter C, so degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9, quantity, the given degree Fahrenheit, minus 32, or is equal to degree Fahrenheit minus 32, all over 1.8. 1.8, that is the equivalent of 9 over 5. That's why we have 1.8. You can use whether, whether the formula 5 over 9 or the decimal 1.8. It's okay. And the degree Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit, we're going to use the capital letter F. Degree Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 degree Celsius plus 32, or degree Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 degree Celsius plus 32. Again, 1.8 is the same as 9 over 5. So if you want a fraction or decimal, you need to choose or decide. Whatever you are going to use in that formula, you will come up with the same answer. Now let us try the following problems. Convert 200, I'm sorry, convert 27 degrees Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. Convert 122 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Convert 59 degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Okay, let's solve this problem. Number one. Convert degree of uh, 27 degrees Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. We're going to convert to degree Fahrenheit. Given is the Celsius. So Fahrenheit, we need to decide what are we going to use. So let us use the 9 over 5. So 9 over 5 degree Celsius plus 32, 32. So degree Fahrenheit is equal to, substitute the given, 9 over 5, quantity 27 plus 32. Okay? Now, simplify. 9 times 27, 7 times 9, so 9 times 7, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, so 3 carry 6, 9 times 2, that is 18, plus 6, 24. So this is 243 over 5 plus 32. Now divide 243 divided by 5. So 24 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 4. 5 times 4, 20. Subtract 24 minus 20. So 4, bring down 3. Now 43 divided by 5, that is 8. 8 times 5, 14. Subtract, 30, and write the decimal point. So we have 30 divided by 5, 6. So 243 over 5 is 48.6. We need to add 30. Now let us add 48.6 plus 32. That will give us... 48.6 plus 32, so 
6.8 plus 2, 0, carry 1. 4 plus 1 plus 3, that is 8. So, 80.6. So, 80.6 degree Fahrenheit. That would be our answer. Next, number two. Convert 122 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So, we're going to find the degree Celsius. Let us use the formula. Again, this time, let us use the fraction 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit is 122 minus 32. So, 5 over 9 times 122 minus 32 is that is 9 t so 90 now let us use the cancellation method we can cancel 19 9 so this will become 10 so 5 times 10 that is 50 so our answer is 50 degrees Celsius or degree Celsius is equal to 50 and now let's have convert 59 degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin since in our formula we need to find first the Celsius before we convert into Kelvin so, first step, we need to convert from degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So, degree Celsius is equal to, let us use any of the two formula. Uh, this time, let us use the decimal. Degree Fahrenheit minus 32 all over 1.8. So, we have... 59 minus 32 all over 1.8. 59 minus 32, that is 27 over 1.8. Now, 27 divided by 1.8, if you're going to simplify, that is equal to 15. Let us try using our calculator. Mm, calculate. 27 divided by 1.8. 15. So 15 degrees Celsius. Now, Kelvin is equal to 273.15 plus degrees Celsius. 273.15 plus 15. So for our final answer, plus 273.15. 288.15 Kelvin. That is on how to convert temperature. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And for next lesson, converting or measuring time. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.